used to pull us around a little wooden sled with um, correct. with skis, skis under the, on the bottom. On the bottom. And you started skiing when you were about four. That's no, I still I still had some hair then. It was good. <laughs> yeah. Amazing how time flies. I was dealing with rare kidney diseases in kids for a long time. It was clear to those of us who were working with these types of projects that really we could bring new medicines to the market for patient populations that to date were underserved. It was always both the science and the ability to actually change a person's life that drove me. My daughter was always a uh, walking human diagnostic machine. She was amazing that way. Brenda was the one who started to suspect long before anybody else did. You had had carpal tunnel surgery and the diagnosis of spinal stenosis, which we knew about, and I started sending you emails. And Harvey wasn't moving as quickly as she would have liked him to move. The phone call was to me. And it said, get that going. And you told me, oh, a funny thing happened to dad today. That's right when he tore the tendon. His biceps tendon. I had seen patients that had those three things specifically, the carpal tunnel syndrome, the spinal stenosis, and then the biceps tendon rupture. Which were indicators. Yeah. And um, then I sort of went a little bit, I got, I got pushy, didn't I? Yes. They set up the necessary procedures for me to have the appropriate tests. The results came back positive. You said to me, I, I have ATTRCM. We had a really good conversation that, you know, with the medicine, we had the opportunity to, to try and prevent you from getting worse. Mm -hmm. And what a big difference that would make. Well, as I said, you gave me a great gift. Here's a situation where a daughter has effectively prolonged her, helped prolong her father's life. And, you know, it could have been somebody else that did it, but it was my daughter. And of course her team and, and everybody who was involved in the project. I guess it is miraculous in that way. I've spent more than 20 years of my life developing drugs and it's an aspiration, it's, it's a passion, it's a dedication. We've tried yeah, at Pfizer and specifically working in rare disease to understand that it's not a nameless, faceless, group of people, they're, they're all individuals, and, and that we're doing what we do for each of those people, as people. So I think this is just the, the living embodiment of that. <laughs>